What is me guys, it's Violet Taylor here and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now, I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. As the, as the title of the, ugh, I can't talk. As the title of the video suggests, um, this is going to be my um, episode two review on She-Hulk. Um, by the way, the item shop, there's not going to be an item shop till Monday morning, which will be Sunday night, I'll be recording Monday morning. I'm in Manchester, it's my birthday weekend, so... Yeah, just in case for those of you that were wondering why it hasn't been in item shops for the last two days. But anyway, um, we start off this episode with pretty much um, She-Hulk has been revealed to the world. Now, starting off with that, you know, she's getting into her element, you know, she's getting a bit of celebritism it's all over the news. They know exactly who she is. Um, so pretty much we go to a bar and we find out that, that um, you know, She-Hulk's very celebrated, you know. Um, they're all celebrating that she hulk, she hulk. So even her friend was like, you can't go in there like that, they weren't she hulk. So she goes in there like she hulk. Um, you know, from the last episode, we find out that obviously, you know, um, her metabolism, so she can't, she can't get drunk in her hulk form. But as soon as she comes out of her hulk form, if she has consumed alcohol, she gets like all the hangover and everything, which is pretty funny actually. Um, so pretty much um, her boss comes to when she's fired because they can't exactly have um, because if you remember the last episode, the case that she was working on, when she went into She-Hulk, the jury was very biased because she saved their lives. So her boss is like, you know, we can't really have you, you know, being She-Hulk. And, you know, if you're saving people, they're going to be very biased to you. So the jury was very biased to her, um, you know, because she saved their lives. So she ends up trying to search for a job, search for a job, search for a job. But she gets a job from the very person she was filing a case against. Now, in this episode, we pretty much find out that um, she has to represent um, Emil Blonsky. Now, obviously, she has a problem with that first because Emil Blonsky, um, funny enough, the my girlfriend's downstairs watching The Incredible Hulk, um, and I'm going down to join her in a second. So, funny enough, I mentioned Emil Blonsky. But, yeah, pretty much um, she's got to defend him. Um, the firm, is it G-K-N-H or G-K-H? I don't know. Anyway, it's a lawyer firm that wants her to start pretty much her own um, attorney team for superheroes. So obviously her first um, case is going to be um, Emil Blonsky. I think she might have to represent Frogman. Don't quote me. She probably might have to represent him, especially if he's like anything like what he's in the comics. But anyway, um, obviously she phones her cousin um, and says she feels uncomfortable at first because um, obviously he tried to kill her cousin. Um she goes to speak to Bruce, saying that she doesn't know whether she takes the job. And Mills Blonsky's been on this thing where he's been um, pretty much he's changed as a person. Um, obviously, he he feels like you know the army. It was the army's fault because they shot him up with the super soldier serum, and he you know twisted all his his thinking and everything, which might be a good argument because he was literally kind of like thrust into it, kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much his statement kind of thing. So, obviously, She-Hulk's going to represent him and try and do something. Mm, bit of a spoiler if you haven't watched Shang-Chi, but we find out at the end of the episode that it's going to be a lot harder to represent him than we think because he's been with Wong um, doing fights. So, uh, it's going to be hard to represent him as we think. Now, other than that, the episode was pretty much chilled. Um, we just saw, obviously, a lot of um, you know her moping when she lost her job. Um, we do get introduced to her family, which is really, really cool. Um, we get a really good conversation with her and her dad uh, about, you know, you're not the only Hulk in the family we've had to deal with. Um, you know, there, there, there's various references. Oh, actually, tell a lie. When she's on the phone to Bruce, we see Bruce on the Sakara ship, probably going back to Sakaar. So, is this setting up? the world war hulk storyline we don't know is this the only gonna is this the last time we're gonna see the hulk until you know something happens obviously you already know it's not a spoiler daredevil is gonna appear in the episode but overall again really really cool episode there is an end credit scene at the end um which actually is which actually escapes me at the moment i've actually forgotten what it was <laughs> but anyway um again these are just nice little funny bits um but yeah, really, really cool. Again, really, really fun episode. Fourth wall breaking. Um, it's funny, but it's funny in a way that's not like, you know, in your face kind of thing. Um, yeah, again, 
my only not complaint, but the only issue I had with the first episode is like you know, that the man shaming and stuff like that. I feel like you aren't achieving your goal if you're directly throwing it and smacking people over the head with it. Yes, we know women have to deal with a lot of things, anger issues, net cat calling, stuff like that. Yes, we know that. But like I said in the last episode, that comes from you know somebody that doesn't do those things and that respects women in any field that are in and stuff like that. So, but anyway, overall. Again, I like the way this is going. The episodes are very fast-paced. I think they're only like half an hour long from what I can remember. They are very fast-paced. They're not, you know, it gets straight to the point. Even the first episode, we got our origin. Boom. Straight into the Hulk. Boom. So, I am really excited to see when we are going to get Daredevil in this episode. Because they said he's not just going to have like a little bit of a scene. He's going to be a running character throughout the series. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like the video. Also, let me know who's your favourite um, Hulk villain and who is your favourite um, Hulk. Because you've got Scar, She-Hulk, you got um, Bet oh, you got Betty, um, which is the red She-Hulk. But let me know in the comments down below. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and join Team Catch for Vibe. Also, if you are new, please don't forget to push the bell notifications get no funny swims out below but more importantly don't make a stay but vibey and stay angry peace cheese